Out of that bombshell report, it stems from an investigation into one of the best known private schools here in Western New York. That investigation found 10 former teachers at Nichols had inappropriate and in some cases sexual relationships with students. An 85 page report from an independent law firm outlines the findings of a six month investigation revealing the misconduct took place over decades. Among the allegations, teachers having sex with students, watching students swim naked, and in one case, hanging troubling pictures of female students all over a male teacher's office. None of the teachers work for Nichols now, but the investigation has already led to the sudden resignation of a current administrator. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News I Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht dives deeper into the eye opening new report. Dirty Secrets, a network of silence, a hidden culture of abuse. Those words straight from a devastating report released by the Nichols School that details credible reports of sexual misconduct or inappropriate emotional relationships with at least 10 former faculty members over the past four decades. A DC law firm hired by the school's board of trustees described predatory behavior by faculty where students were harmed, children were distraught and even suicidal, all while administrators failed to act. Alumna Elizabeth Moore first broke the silence, telling the Buffalo News a gripping account of a sexual relationship with former science teacher Arthur Buddington, who admitted to two sexual relationships with 17-year-old female students while he was in his 40s. Buddington is now retired. He came clean to investigators and apologized for the misdeeds, which were an open secret thanks to the wall of female student pictures he kept in his office. One faculty member described them as a shrine to American girlhood. Former teacher E. Webster Dan died last year, but from the 1970s to 2001, the report says he preyed on young boys, one of them 12 years old, giving them liquor, buying pornography, taking them to bed, and assaulting them, telling one boy he aged out when he became 16. The report says parents would tell their sons to be careful not to spend time alone with Dan and one teacher from a prominent family. Two former female teachers, Julie Jones and Donna Armistead, were also named in the report for having sexual relations with students, which they both denied. School leaders, the report says, who knew of the abuse and failed to act appropriately include Rick Bryan, the former headmaster who runs a school in Ohio, and Mary Rockwell, his assistant who retired abruptly this morning. Those who reported the abuse said Brian told them to be patient or said they had no memory of the incidents, while parents say their concerns were dismissed or blown off by school leaders. Now, leaders say Nichols is a very different school now, and we should know it here. None of these teachers are still working at the school, and the most recent allegation happened more than a decade ago now. Leaders say they felt the need to create this report because of a belief among parents, mostly, that the school was willing to protect its reputation at all costs. Well, that certainly seems like a strategy that has totally backfired now at immense cost to so many young people. Such a comprehensive, really eye-opening report. That's right. Okay, thank you very thank much, you, Charlie. Charlie. And you can read the entire 85-page report right now. You'll find it with our story on our WKBW app.